Guys, it is time for my monthly K-pop haul. Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Do Reactions and today I am here with my May monthly K-pop haul. And like I said, I wasn't going to be buying much and I managed to succeed. Um, there are very few things that I actually bought and I did buy a few things at the very end of this month but they're not going to be here until next month and so it doesn't count just like some of these things I bought previously and they're just getting here now but um right now let's just go go through this like I said there's not a whole lot because I did I did stick to what I said and I, I didn't really buy much um but so let's start with the one, only thing that I have a single copy of um and that is Vix's Shangri-La and this is their, what, sixth mini album? Fourth mini album, it says it right there. Guys, I'm smart. Okay, but um, so this is the Birthstone version. Right now I have the Birthstone. Birthstone was the one I preferred because I liked it a little bit more. Um, and with this, I do have me a, I have one of my biases. I have a Hongbin card, so. Hongbin, beautiful, lovely man. Um, and they're fold out. They're fold out photo cards, which are really big. And I have, as you can see, I haven't put it into my um, photo book. So I don't know how I'm going to be doing this for this um, for this one. I, I have a feeling that it's going to be. I have some third pages, which I'll probably use. And if that doesn't work, then it'll probably end up in a full page, which is going to be a waste. But it happens. Um, so next up, I have sticking with Korean albums first. Um, the other thing that I have is my GOT7 Arrival albums. So obviously you guys know that I already have Arrival. Um, I showed that to you in my March haul because I purchased those um, right when they came out because I ran a go for that as well. But I also ran a go for the signed copies. So I do have signed copies for my top three, um, my Holy Trinity. I think next time around, I think I might stick to just my top two, um, just to save me some monies. Um, eh, but it is what it is. Um, but I do have, um, each of these. So I have the, my Jackson signed. I have my J Bum signed. And I have my Bam signed. And I do have for each of these, I will show you them real quick because, um, they do, these are second press, so they do come with the individual plate. So I have like my BAM plate, J Bums. I really like these plates that they have. They were plain, the, um, the CDs were actually really plain in the initial press, um, but they did have the cool um, covers and then Jackson's. Um, so I do have each of those, um, but they, the um, actual like clear covers on these are a lot more they're not as pretty. The clear covers on the first press are gorgeous because they have those CMYK special covers um, and they're they're pretty cool and I like them. Um, so the last things that I got, um, I also ended up buying BTS's Not Today. Um, well, Blood, Sweat and Tears, but it's Blood, Sweat and Tears and Not Today. Those were the two Japanese singles that they released. Um, I got two of the versions there. There's also the A version. I didn't get the A version. The A version just had the MVs, um, on them for this. I ended up getting, um, uh, I got the B version. This is the B one, right? I forget right now. Um, yeah, this is the B version. So I got the B version, which has the CD DVD. And then I also got the C version, which has the actual photo book. Um, cause they're not all together and the A version had the actual MV. So the, the DVD of the one that I got has the making of the A version just has just the actual MVs and I, I can watch the MVs online, but getting the making stuff, that's not as easy. So I decided to get those. Um, and yeah, I ended up getting free shipping and like a dollar off. So I didn't mind picking them both up. Um, I didn't get them from Tower, so I didn't get the card, but still I'm happy to have it. These are my first Japanese BTS albums. Um, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna try to not fall down that well, but still I'm, I'm very happy with my purchases this month. Like I said, not too much, didn't go crazy, um, but I do have some stuff that's gonna be coming next month. So we will see. 
We shall see. I'm excited about that. I know I have at least four. Actually, there's one more album. Hold on. Okay, so I actually almost forgot about this last one. I did get this because this was in my K-pop box, and it is Dean's TRBL. Um, yeah, Dean. I love Dean. Um, so this is what the album that I ended up getting with the box for this month. Um, so it's upside down. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to finally have this. I love Dean. I really, really love Dean. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled about having some Dean here. Um, but yeah, now that's everything that I got this month. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what kind of things you picked up this month. And if you like, what are your thoughts on the things that I've got here? If you've got any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. I'm out. No, I am not going to get a damn. I'm